like what he does on the field. Claiming for last night of the regular disastrously bad shit. It made me stop and go. Power of my ah! 15 teams in the NBA don't have a center that can walk and chew gum. <laughs> so since the Clippers have one of those and he's a young athlete, you have to keep him happy. You have to pay him the money. And I think he helps Blake Griffin continue to play power forward. But does he have a low post presence? I mean, can he play with his back to the, to the basket? Not at this point. Andrew Bynum has better footwork at this point of his career, and he's more advanced offensively. But the other contending teams in the Western Conference, they don't really have that either. Oklahoma City has Kendrick Perkins. He's more of a defensive-oriented player. The Dallas Mavs, they lost Tyson Chandler. So that is the weakest position performance-wise center in the NBA. Jalen Rose in studio with us here talking about the NBA season, which uh, tips off on Christmas. So give it, we'll go to the, to the East. Give us the West. Give us the – your top three, your top five, in order, where you think they are right now. Oklahoma City would be right there. One of two or three teams last year to have two All-NBA performers. Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, they're going to continue to get better. Harden coming in off the bench. He's an explosive scorer. They're going to be right there. People are ready to write off the Mavs. Last time I checked, they still have Dirk. That's right. And last year in the playoffs, Dirk went through Oklahoma City. He went through the Lakers, and he went through Miami's big three. And those Clippers, Dominique Wilkins, explosive forward. Played for the Hawks. He was a human highlight film. Sean Kemp, he was the rain man. Blake Griffin doesn't have a nickname. So what I'm going to do for Blake, I'm going to give him a phrase. From the great American philosopher, Big Daddy Kane. <laughs> He's so full of action, his name should be a verb. That's how good Blake Griffin is. The only player in the NBA to average over 22 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists. He's going to be an MVP candidate this year. Catch Mike and Mike every weekday from 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN2.